Hello guys, this is Mr. Multi Havoc here, and today I'll be showing you how to install Play With Six for Armor Three in terms of how in to install a mod, and also if you're in a clan and they have a repository link for Play With Six, I'll show you how to do that, and also how to increase your performance in Armor Three as well. So what you want to do is open your internet browser first, go to PlayWithSix.com. On the top right corner, there's a green button say Download Play With Six. You want to click that, and for right now. Play with six is only for Windows. I'm not sure when they're gonna come out with Mac or if they are gonna come out with Mac, but for now it's for Windows only. So you wanna click on it. Wait until it says zero seconds and then it should just download. And once you're down, down down downloading it, you can open up. So far it's not installed into your computer. It's it's as an EXE, so you have to open it up first. It's going to do some installing and it should ask you for a license agreement as well. As a first time startup, it takes a little bit of a long time here to start up. Okay, so yeah, here's the six network user agreement usually i don't read this but i mean if you want to read it and then yeah accept the client obviously it won't allow you to download it except will allow you so now you're here so what you want to do is pick the game you have this you also can have armor 2 operation arrowhead and armor 2 or if you have both it's combined ops but right now i have armor 3 only installed so you want to double click on it games armor 3 now you want to do is go to top right and it says tools check for update wait for it to download the actual um update and it says software update available you press ok oh i think it's installed i think it's installing the update to play with six but it's not installed to your computer yet so it's up to date right now but you need to install this in computer because Every time you open it, you have to open it as an EXE and not from like a shortcut because there is no shortcut. The shortcut is like the EXE. So if you install it to your computer, it installs into your C program files 86 and then it's called sit net, sit, six network is the full, that's what the folder is called. And then it makes a shortcut. So here, C makes a shortcut. So once you've done that, wait for it to sync. If you have mods installed, I have mods installed already. So it synced and I used Play with six before. You've done that. Now you want to do is go to settings, go to game settings, and check where the mod directory and the sync directory is. For me personally, I like it set to Armor 3 instead of like the Armor 3 uh, directory instead of the documents directory because I don't really use Play 6 to enable or disable my mods. I use it from the Armor 3 uh, expansions. So if you're if you always use Play 6 to play armor 3 like to start up armor 3 then you can leave it at documents if you don't what i do is go to make sure you like the way i went mod directory you want to click on this three line button and click armor 3 folder make sure folder armor 3 select folder and it'll switch sync and the mods directory you want to press ok if you install the mods first it's okay uh what it does it moves the mods to your Armor 3 directory, so you don't have to re-download it, which is a cool thing. And then you press yes. And once you're done that, then you're fine. Now for startup parameters, I can do that at the end. Let's worry about mods. So after you're done that, you can click on that and install the mods. So you set the directory. So here, there's a bunch of mods where you can search the mod you want, and anything like that. I already have mods downloaded. So... I can click on the mod folder and here are my mods as well as here. So now to make a new collection, say, say for example, for Anzu War Games Zulu server, we allow mods in it. It's all client side, so you can still join if you don't have these mods, but you're allowed to use these mods. So what you want to do is click on this button that says new collection, click on the plus button, it makes it. And now you need to name it. So I'm going to name it AWG Zulu server. Once you're done that, enter, and then you can go to game folder or mods, it doesn't matter. 
you you could the mods that we're allowed to use is CBA, Blast Core, JSRS, ST HUD, VTS Weapon Resting, and VTS Gestures. So it's six mods. And basically what you can do is you right click to and if you want to start the game with all these mods, you just right click on the collection and then launch the collection and it launches the game. Uh, in terms of uh, repository links, what you want to do is click, it should say here, repositories, and then add repo. You want to click on the plus button, and now you need to add a URL. So on, I'm in a clan called Marsoc Raiders. We have our own repository link, so you can go to the site, Marsoc and repository link. You can click here. And then you can just copy and you want to paste it here and then add URL. So now you have another collection and these are the mods we use in our servers. The lock means you can't disable it because these are the required mods, but these ones like the effects just like to enhance the game. These ones you can check mark saying you want them on. If they're not check marked, they won't run. So that's why. And, and now in terms of Arma 3 performance, which you go as tools, settings, game settings, and then it should say star parameters. You want to go to editor. So these ones I have no splash, skip intro, and if you, you clicks on them and it tells you no splash. It allows you to bypass the splash screen on startup of Arma 2, like on Arma 2. And it works for Armor 3 as well. Skip intro, disable world intros into the main menu permanently. Uh, I don't keep window. Uh, check signatures, I don't believe I use that. CPU count. Now, you got to be careful. I'm not responsible if you do damage to your computer. So you got to make sure, you got to know how much, if you have a dual core, if you have a quad core. I have a quad core, but I have hyper threading. So I can set it to eight cores because it's double. So make sure it's eight. Uh, threads quad core would be seven. Uh, do it'll tell you like here. Um, use three if you have a dual, and use seven if you have quad. Max memory I don't touch. Max VRAM I don't touch. No logs. Uh, the world I put in empty. So there's actual no world like when you're in the like the the menu of Armor Three. Um, no pause. Basically, when you're when you're starting up Armor Three. If you alt tab it and you go back in and un and un alt tab and you go back in, it's still in the same spot. So if you do no pause, it'll bring you, you know, there's no pause or anything like that. Uh, that's only in for the beginning, but sometimes I just want to alt tab because it takes sometimes a long time depending on how much mods you're running. And that's what I do. And then back to the game settings. So when you, so when you run like your mod pack, for example, so I'm gonna use the AWG Zulu server mod pack that I made. Right click, launch collections. We don't need the browser open. And also, if you didn't know, Armor 3 needs Steam to be running. Like, you need to have Steam open in, in terms, even if there's no connection. Like, you can run Steam offline, but uh, Armor, need, Armor 3 needs Steam, so you don't have to worry. You can still, Steam overlay works and everything like that, so it starts up Steam with Armor 3. So basically, I can Alt Tab and do what I want to do and for a brief moment and then I can go back and it should be the start menu like it doesn't pause in between usually if I go back it'd be still back showing that armor 3 sign but to check if your mods do work you can go to configure expansion and here are the mods armor 3 and armor 3 Zeus those are the original from the game the vanilla, vanilla base and then Community based add ons, Blast Guard, JSRS, SD HUD, VTS, Weapon Resting, VTS Gestures. Those are the mods that we uh, wanted enabled and they came on the server. You can't disable it because you started with Player 6. You like, in terms of the star prams, it's like at mods and then all that stuff there. I'm not trying to confuse it or anything like that. But yeah, that's how you install it. And the start and the also the star parameters for your games, the way you set it, it works. I have eight CPUs. So here I'm show it shows like 19%, 21%. Usually they stay at 25% all the CPU count, all the cores usually stay like that. The threads, they all 
stay at 25% use. Because I have hyper threading, it doubles the course, like I said. So that's how you install uh, Play with 6 and how to install mods, as well as how to add a repository link, make a new collection, and possibly increase your Armor 3 performance.